Well, it's NAB 2019, and we are at the Black Magic stand in the secret little hidden area behind the what is very busy front booth of Black Magic, um, where we can get a bit of quiet time with this man, Simon. Hi, Simon. Hi, John. Great to see you again. Yeah. And you. Now we've got a lot to talk about um, throughout the day here, but we're going to concentrate particularly in this instance, on the new ATEM Constellation 8K. That's right. It's a mouthful, but uh, tell us about it. Well, this is, I mean, effectively, this is the biggest switch we've ever made. Um, we Obviously, we have 8K capability in there, and I'll talk about that in a second. But in essence, you've got 40 12-gig SDI inputs. Um, so, gosh, this is, you know, yeah. this is a huge switcher. In addition to those 40 12 gig ins, you've got 24 12 gig SDI outs. Some people have already said maybe we've eliminated the need for a router in that because you can connect directly to the, to the unit for so many different purposes. You'll see that there's lots of similarities to the way this looks to the ATEM television studio, which I, I know that you know, um, in that you've got the push button control and all control over the, um, the switches features from directly from that front control panel. So you can adjust your transitions, the length of those transitions. You get control over everything within the menus and it's a nice large screen in there. So it's very easy to operate everything from the unit itself. The same as all of the ATEM switches, it works with the software control panel, which connects via ethernet. You can connect it to the 1ME advanced panel and the 2ME panel. So again, there's, a, you know, there's an ecosystem, I guess, with the way that ATEM works. Um, but in essence, this is all about the power because as well, those 40 um, 12 gig inputs can be used either for HD or Ultra HD, but we can also now offer the ability to work at 8K today. So this is not a future promise, this is 8K here today in this switcher. And what happens there is that we pull the resources, we pull the, 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 the power of that, so those 40 12 gig SDI become quad SDI ins, so the 40 becomes 10 inputs when used at 8K. And in exactly the same way, the 24 outs become six when you use it in an 8K environment. I think that's great because it absolutely gives people a future proofing in that, you know, we know that not many people are gonna be at 8K right now, but they know that they've got a switcher that's capable of doing it. Um, I've got a few questions to ask you. Uh, about this. Before we do, quickly have a look at this and we'll be right back. So welcome back. We're here at Black Magic, looking at the new ATEM Constellation 8K with Simon. Simon, um, you've given us a brief overview. I'm going to have some questions for you. Um, one thing about the the higher end switches that you've had, which people absolutely love, is the super source. Um, is it the same deal with this one? Yeah. So you get two super sources in there when you're working at HD um, and Ultra HD. If you worked at 8K, that would drop to one. Um, but yeah, that ability to obviously get all those picture in pictures is a is a popular popular feature with with ATEMs. Um, the other thing that we didn't mention previously as well is that every one of those inputs um, has got independent frame sync on there and uh, cross conversion. So you can upscale um, and you can cross convert on every one of the inputs. This is something we did on the all-in-one ATEM products that I think people absolutely loved because effectively that's controlled by whatever you set your output resolution to be. So you haven't got to go through all of those ins and individually select um, the, you know, the, the resolution type or the frame rate. Actually what you set as your output then it just automatically defaults to that with whatever you plug in. So yeah, that's got that on all 40 inputs of this switcher. Um, the other thing that uh, you've been adding to on your switches, of course, is the audio capability of it now. It's, it's now since you've had Fairlight involved, uh, that's upped as well. Yeah, I think we're just at the beginning of that because uh, there's so much more when we, when we actually acquired Fairlight a couple of years ago. Um, obviously, our, our first and foremost, it was about 
um, audio for television and film production, which is where Fairlight came from. But a lot of people, um, I think, made the very quick and obvious uh, association between audio and a live environment as well. And within this, there's something like 156 channels of audio control with the Fairlight interface within the ATEM software. Um, but essentially, we also offer the ability to um, both input and output through MADI. Uh, so if you want to bring uh, external audio in or you want to send this out to uh, a desk for control, you can do that now with that uh, MADI import and export. Brilliant. And obviously, uh, being an 8K, it's got a lot of power in it anyway, so that's going to increase things like uh, media players, uh, frame stores. Absolutely, all increasing. I mean, you've got uh, four multi-views in there, you've got four DVEs in there, um, you've got four media players in there. And again, same logic applies, you go into 8K and that reduces. But again, just another example of where we, we, we pull the, 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 uh, the power uh, to move into an 8K environment. Simon, that's great. Well, obviously, this is the first time anybody has ever seen one of these. Um, when are they going to be available? Uh, shipping right now, 995 US uh, dollars, so 10,000 US dollars uh, available now. Brilliant. And of course, you're here at NAB. If people weren't able to uh, come and see you and they want to find out more about this amazing piece of kit, is there a website they can go to? Yeah, just visit the Blackmagic website at www.blackmagicdesign.com. Simon, thank you very much. Well, there you have it. It is here, the amazing new ATEM Constellation 8K Vision Mixer from Blackmagic. Go and check it out on their website if you weren't able to come and see them here at NAB. For more from us at NAB 2019, have a look at our website, kitplus.com.